Hello YouTubers, Benign Chaos here, and I'm just going to tell you about the latest week in gaming as seen through the eyes of yours truly. Uh, so for me, it hasn't been a terribly exciting weekend because I've just been trying to get over my terrible addiction to Kid Icarus Uprising. Uh, but I have seen a couple things that have uh, tickled my fancy. The first of these things being a sale on the PlayStation Network by Atlas. Uh, this applies to pretty much all of their games on the PSP, uh, including Persona, Persona 2, and Persona 3 Portable, which is great for me because I, I've never played any of those games. I'm definitely going to get my Persona on. Uh, the sales uh, include uh, price drops of up to $20 in some cases, uh, and as little as $5 in other cases. And I believe I just said it's a sale, but this is actually a price drop. Uh, it looks like these are permanent drops in price, so no pressure, but do check them out if, you, if you've been uh, thinking about getting any of these games. Uh, there's also Riviera, Yggdra Union, Knights in the Nightmare, Hexes Force, Kenka Bancho, Badass Rumble, Crimson Gem Saga, and Class of Heroes. Second thing that really caught my attention this week was I just recently heard of the game Legend of Grimrock, a uh, indie game, uh, at least as far as I can tell it's pretty indie, coming out on PC, um, and it's a, kind of a classic dungeon crawling role playing game. You get four uh, characters in your party, and the game looks really nice. It's a first person view, uh, there are puzzles to solve, and the, yeah, the graphics are great, so I got pretty excited about this. And even more excited, I went to the website, and the game comes out on April 11th, and I hate waiting for games that I just hear about. And um, there's a sale. Uh, if you pre-order before the 11th, you'll get 20% off the game. Uh, full price is $15, or $14.99, uh, but pre-order now, and you get it for $11.99. So I did that. If you want to do that, do that. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to playing that game a lot because it looks really cool. Uh, while I was doing this, I figured I was on a roll and I also pre-ordered Proteus, um, which gives, you can either get the standard edition or artifact edition. And I tried it because it gives you access to a beta, I believe. And this was really cool. This was one of those games that I'd, I'd heard about a while back and I had been meaning to get. And yes, it gives you access to the beta. Uh, Windows only, unfortunately. Um, OS X and Linux beta builds are coming soon. But uh, pre order the standard edition now for $750, or um, the, uh, get it full price at $10 after it comes out. But this is a uh, simple exploration game. At first, it might share, it might share some similarities with Minecraft. Uh, but it's it's quite beautiful and I admittedly only spent a couple of minutes with it but I really liked what I saw and heard so that was one thing and as for what I've been playing this last week I took a, a little swing at Warp on the PS3 released on the PSN another indie game released by EA I don't remember the game developer at the moment but it looked pretty interesting from the uh, advertisements that I'd seen in trailers, and I decided to try it. Not entirely convinced with what I've played, unfortunately. The game is interesting. It presents an interesting idea. Uh, in case you don't know, the whole idea behind Warp is basically the name of the game. Uh, you have the ability to warp, and you can warp into, or you can warp through objects, but uh, one of the big things is that you can actually warp into objects, and these include barrels and power generators and people, uh, and then you can blow up whatever you uh, warp into. You do earn some other powers as you play, but that's the main one, and um, it was interesting. Unfortunately, that's really all I can say about it. I did spend quite a bit of time with it. I haven't beaten it yet, but I haven't really felt a incredible urge to keep playing, unfortunately. Um, the main character, the uh, alien thing, is kind of cute, but obviously if you can blow up people it's pretty gory, and that's kind of, it's a novel thing to see gory and cute. Not the first time it's been done, but it's 
uh, kind of a novelty sort of aspect of the game. And it does bring something new, but it was not particularly gripping. Dying isn't of much consequence because you usually end up pretty close to where you just died. And the puzzles are really quick. There's not a lot of stopping and thinking, and this, this kind of is built like a puzzle game. You have to see where you're going to warp to, or where you have to warp to to get from uh, point A to point B. But is very fast paced and doesn't give you a lot of time to think, and ends up being kind of rushed. I found that when I was playing I was basically just warping everywhere I possibly could until something worked and that wasn't that didn't really interest me so much. I guess the most recent and obvious comparison would be Portal. Some of you might scream no at me saying that, but Portal made you think about where you were going to put your portals. You could try out stuff, but you had to you had to think and test it. In warp, I found myself running and warping. Running and warping and running and warping and warping and warping until something got me to the other side. So I don't know. Uh, tell me what you guys think of the game if you tried it, or if you've seen any other awesome deals. Uh, post in the comments because I'm always interested in bleh, 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 interested to know. Uh, my mouth is falling apart. and. I uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll be posting these weekly just to tell you about what I found exciting over the last week in gaming. And, uh, yeah. Uh, like, rate, or comment, or subscribe. No, wait, hold on. Like and rate are the same thing. Awesome. Rate, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw, or do any combination of those three. Uh, I'm, I'm really tired without any excuse. It's a pretty short day at work. Anyway. Anyway, I digress. See you guys in the next video.